بعض الناس بتلعب باوزان تلاقيه بيلعب بطن وحاطط طاره ماسك طاره مثلا 10 كيلو او 5 كيلو وحاططها ماسكها كده ويبدا يطلع بيها الكلام ده جميل جدا بس لو انت ما عندكش دهون كتير في منطقه البطن لو انت عايز تصفي وتدفنش قوي وتخلي عضلات البطن بارزه ممكن تعمل كده لكن لو انت عندك اوريدي دهون كتير ما تلعبش باوزان لان الوزن الهدف بتاعه ان هو يعلي الكيرف بتاع الباكس يعلي الكيرف بتاع عضله البطن نفسها فلو انت عندك دهون الكيرف هيعلى وبالتالي انت اوريدي في دهون عليها فتلاقي المنطقه ممكن بدل ما انت عايز تنزل منطقه البطن لا ممكن تلاقي ان عضلات البطن عليت وعليها الدهون فبدات العمليه ان هي مش بتخس زي ما انت متخيل اللي بيلعب بوزن ده واحد ما عندوش اوريدي دهون وعايز بس يصفي قوي 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 وتبقى عضله البطن ظاهره وبارزه بشكل ملفت في الحاله دي العب بوزن ده اول خطا الناس بتقع فيه لما تيجي في البدايه الخطا الثاني ان هم بيحطوا الطاره او الوزن على البطن بالظبط انا مش محتاج احط الطاره على البطن بالظبط انا محتاج امسكها فوق هنا كده عند منطقه الكتاف واطلع بيها لكن لو انت حطيتها على منطقه البطن بالظبط اوريدي المنطقه دي اللي هي من وراها الناحيه الثانيه في منطقه الفقرات القطنيه المفروض المنطقه دي اوريدي ثابته على الارض فانت حاطط وزن على منطقه ثابته انت عايز تحط الوزن على المنطقه اللي بتتحرك علشان تعمل تحميل معاك وانت طالع وانت نازل فانا بشوف الكلام ده في جيمات كتيره وناس كتيره ممكن بتبقى متخيله ان هي بتبذل مجهود زياده وعايزه نتيجه اسرع لكن الكلام ده مش صح خاصة الناس اللي في البداية بتبقى مستعجلة قوي فتقولك أنا أحط أوزان وأعمل مش عارف إيه علشان أجيب نتيجة سريعة Hi everybody, Laura London here. I'm going to be doing an ab circuit today for you. You can take this, do it anywhere. We're gonna run through it one time. You can do it two times, you can do it three times, you could do it 20 times. It's up to you, but I'll get your core nice and strong. So here are 10 of some of my favorite exercises. And let's get down on the mat. You're gonna need a mat. First, we're gonna start with what I call in and out. We're gonna do 15 of each exercise, okay? So, <clears throat> We're gonna sit back on our hands and we're just gonna go in and out. For one, two, three, four, there goes my cat, five, six, sometimes she does the ab exercise, seven, eight, keep it going, nine, really reach those legs, 10, 11, couple more, 12, 13, you got it, 14, and 15. Great. Now we're going to move into bicycles. So we're going to balance. We're going to put our hands behind our head and we're going to bring opposite elbow to opposite knee. Ready for 15. One, two, three, four, five. Really twist. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, good, 13, 14, and 15. All right, those abs are getting warmed up. Now we're gonna do some frogs, all right? A frog is just when you bring your legs up and back out, and you kind of lean back at the same time. All right, so we're gonna do 15 of those. Here we go. One, two, three, crunch it, four, good. Five, six, seven, you can do it, eight, nine, ten, five more, one, two, three, we're working those legs too, four, and five. All right, good job. Now, we're going to do what I call, we cross our legs, and it's a sit-up, it's a form of a sit-up. If you're really, really strong, you can do crisscross applesauce like this. All right, and now we're just gonna reach up and reach forward for 15. I'll show you one. Just like that, reaching up. Okay, here we go, get ready. One, two, if you can only go halfway up, go halfway up. Three, whatever you can do, 
Just work those abs. Get them stronger. Five. Good. Six. It took me a long time to get my abs in shape and get them strong. It doesn't happen overnight. I think we're on nine. Ten. It's hard to talk and count. Eleven. Good job. Twelve. You're feeling them? I am. Thirteen. Fourteen. And last one. Fifteen. Good. If your abs are a little sore, you can always pull your legs in and give them a little hug. Give yourself some love. All right. Let's see what we have next. All right. <clears throat> we have some scissors. And that is as simple as putting your hands underneath your tush, lifting your legs up, and just crossing back and forth. Okay? We're ready. We're going to start for 15. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My count is a little off. Nine, <laughs> ten. It's okay if we get a couple more in there. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I do that on purpose. Make you work a little harder, a little longer. All right. This is what I call heels to heaven. This is going to work specifically your lower abs, really targeting them. We all need to strengthen up those lower abs, especially moms when we've had the babies. Not fair. But that's what we've got to do. So we're going to put our heels underneath the tush. We're going to put our heels nice up to the ceiling. We're just going to lift up like this. If you can only lift a little, just lift a little. If you can lift a little more, go farther. All right, you ready? We're going for 15. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Good. Five, six, seven, eight. Remember, you can do these exercises. Nine. 10 at home, in your hotel room, 12, 13, 14, 15. You can do one set, two sets of them. Just get some ab exercises in there. Okay, now we're going to do a V-up and a roll-up. A little challenging, lots of fun. Don't worry. Okay, so we're going to lie down. And we are going to ah, do a little V up, end it with a sit up. So again, it's a little V up and a sit up. If you can't get your legs up there, don't worry. Just do whatever you could do, okay? So here we go for 15. One, two, a little challenging, but they really work. Three. You're feeling your stomach? I'm feeling it. Four. There we go. Five. We can do it. Come on, keep going. Six. Okay. Seven. Almost there. Come on. Eight. If it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Nine. Ten. Okay. Five more. Come on. One. Two. Woohoo! <laughs> Three. Oh, do the best you can. Come on. Four. Oh yeah, feeling the burn. Last one, the V up and the sit up. Ha, tough one. All right, catch your breath. Woohoo! Now we're gonna work on the obliques, which are the sides of our abs. Wanna make them strong too. So we're gonna come to one side. All right. 
like to put my, let's see, my hand here. Actually, I'm going to put my hand here. All right. Let's just stretch everything in. All right. We're going to crunch up is what we're going to do. So this is what we're going to be doing. I keep changing my hand. I'm going to put it here. All right. So for 15, we're going to crunch up to one side, and then we're going to go to the other side. All right. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whoop, I lost my balance, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, good, 13, 14, crunch it, 15, excellent. All right, let's switch it to the other side for 15 more, stretch it out, here we go, one, too bad we have two sides, huh? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good, nine, ten, last five, come on, you can do it, one, crunch it, two, feel it, three, four, and five, excellent, all right, we're going to take it back down, let's come here, I'm going to let you lie down now, just because I'm letting you lie down doesn't mean it's easy, all right, we're going to do what I call hand slides. We're just going to be sliding our hands as far as they can go. When we're up here, we really want to contract those abs and feel the muscle. Okay? I'd rather have you go slow and controlled than quick and fast. All right. So here we go for 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, good, nine, 10, squeeze it, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We all want those strong abs. Okay, we're on our last exercise. Yay, here we go. We're gonna be doing a twist. We're gonna be leaning back and we're gonna be going from side to side and be picking up these feet. If you can't pick up the feet, keep them down and just twist. There's always an adjustment for any exercise, all right? So I'm going to start with my feet down, and I'm going to pick them up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to pick them up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Done. Only the first round, though. Go ahead and do that one again. If you really want to challenge yourself, do it three times. I'm going to be making some more ab videos. We're going to be bringing in balls. We're going to be bringing in weights. We're going to really, really strengthen them. Doing some isometric holds. So keep checking back, and I will see you guys soon. Laura London, lauralondonfitness.com. Have a great day.